Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we went through Mirkwood and conquered it. It's now dead. Mirkwood is dead. And we also defeated that thri thrice blasted Lynel that troubled us oh so greatly back when we were conquering the Lanayru region for the first time. And I ended off the video, or rather the end slate, by discovering this shrine from the, the dam that holds in the the East Reservoir Lake. So we're starting off the episode with a shrine. Five Flames, Ruko Mog Shrine. Weird. Oh, we have a bunch of switches that turn things. Am I... Am I trying to light this? Here, let's use this trident. Uh... I can't hit it. Do I just use my bow? I think I use my bow. And not one of those arrows, actually. Does this... Wait, what? Oh, I see. I, I, okay, I kind of see. Wait, no, I don't. I don't see. How do I turn this from side to side? Also, I just doused the thing. Oh, there are arrows on it. Okay. That makes sense. So let's spin the thing. This is a cool puzzle. There's a water spout there. Uh, let's... Hmm. So first, let's get this out of the way. There is a... A bunch of leaves that can be shot to get a chest. There was a lit torch here, and I'm not sure if I ruined it or not. Because we need these five torches to light something. I, I presume to light those things, and I can't just do this. Yeah, I can't just do that. So, I'm wondering if I mess this up and have to re-enter because I douse the torch. Here, just... Because I have the power of editing, I'm going to see what happens when I do that. Yeah, see, the torch is lit now, so... I think I just messed it up. We have... A waterway there, and the chest is back, mysteriously. So, I need to switch this... Without dousing that torch. I think first what I can do is... That actually doesn't help me, does it? Actually, no, it does. It does. It does. Because I can use this to light that. And that would do nothing. And then, let's see. Oh, I... Okay, I kind of see what I'm doing. I need to light every single torch. And the reason why this water spigot is here is so that I, I don't douse the torches on the wall. It's an additional obstacle. So... For me to do this, I need to spin it, and then if all, at all possible, I need to rotate it again, which I think I can do by hitting that, so now the lit torch is on the back side of it, and spinning it again, lighting that torch. And I just need to spin it a few more times. Actually, no, I don't. If you look at this, I need to light three sides of this. Oh, wait, then no, there's not one on the back. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I need to light the the ones that are actually on the the thing now. Okay, so that doesn't seem too difficult. So. So, now I just shoot that. Oh, no, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem because I just doused it. So, if I could rotate it over here. Now, what I need to light is on the back side. I'm getting there. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait a minute. I... But, game? <laughs> Did... Did I, I do it? 
I guess I did it. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought I was still a couple moves away from beating this thing. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, now how do I get that thing? Oh, that's how I get it. Just with a, a fire arrow. Well, that's easy enough. And it contains a silver bow with attack up 11. That's... That's a good bow. That's a really good bow. Okay, so now... I'll get my orb. How many of these do we have, by the way? We have three. Okay, so I, I have earned myself an upgrade. But I won't, I won't partake in that just yet. Because we have still yet to go to... Our house in Hateno. Where else? So, long story short, I do most of my cooking, if not all of it, off screen. I don't bother to show you guys what I make, or rather, I don't bother to show you guys what I'm making when I'm making it. Instead, you just kind of find out when I open up my inventory to use it. And normally, I've been just going to whatever pot is nearby, whether it's something at a stable or, or what have you. And I realized that I don't have to do that. I have a place, and I need to... I need to sink some money into this place to spice it up. And there is a quest regarding that. So that's what we're doing here. So, the mile... The both of us sort of hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to kick back and get leisurely, baby. Though you look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we should both keep working at it. Hey, you don't even have to say it. Oh, wow. I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure that's you to a T. I see it in your eyes. Yep, I was just like you about a lifetime ago, or five minutes. But I'll tell you what, let me help by taking care of furniture, or the exterior, or anything really, for 5,000 rupees. Actually, no, scratch that. For you, let's start at, like, 100. Just cruise on by whenever you have the spending cash, and we'll talk. Oh. So I can do that. Hi, you need something for me? Yeah, build me. Gear display, I love that. That's all I want in life. Weapon mounts? Yeah, huh? You you got it. Yeah, I have the money. I, I can I have the skills and the money to pay the bills. So I can pay for all this junk, or can I only do it once a day? Time for some instruction intro introduction. Hi. Carson, we are on. I'm with you. That's the most Dragon Ball Z construction job I've ever heard. Practically perfect, if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. So we have weapon mounts, I guess? Let me look in here. Are these weapon... Th these are weapon mounts. Neat, so I can display the weapon that I'm holding. Here, are there any weapons I don't need but I can display that are really cool? No? I mean, I could... Oh, I can't display the ma- Oh, I actually had a question about that. Can I throw the Master Sword? <gasps> I can! Ooh, so my thought was, uh, you guys told me in the comments that thrown weapons deal double damage, but normally they instantly break. And so, the Master Sword being unbreakable might be an easy way to abuse this. <gasps> what? What? But apparently they thought of that. It gave me the ability to shoot Skyward Strikes! That's so cool! I was I was kind of miffed that the sword beams weren't a thing. But it looks like they are. I'm gonna have to test that out later. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's let's talk to this guy and uh, and buy everything that he can he can build. So give me a moment. And in fact, if we keep upgrading the house until there's nothing left... Ah, you housing monster! You got everything? Ah, such is the way of youth. I forgot my voice for him. Driven, even reckless, some might say. Well, since you bought everything, I threw in some free furniture. Yeah, least I could do. 
Carson, look lively, man. Oh. I'm with you. <laughs> and it fades to black. But he's back. Okay. Oh, he was getting the furniture. Oh, okay. Well, I am tuckered. I couldn't swing a ball peen hammer right now, let alone an axe. Break time, baby. Hylian homeowner. Complete. And that's what I'm talking about. We have a little kitchen table, which I can stand up on and ruin. We have nice wall mounts, a bookcase. This is more like it. What? What is sparkling? Oh, it's the hammer through the wall. Okay. And there's some stuff down here, which I thought this looked very suspiciously empty. So that's nice that they thought of that. A bunch of wall racks and some furniture. Nice. Well, neat. We now have a house. All right. Onward to the next thing that we have to do this episode. If you aren't doing anything useful, why don't you go see if you can get this dance to catch on? You ready for this? Oh, he actually gets up for it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> New construction, house reduction, wall destruction, model luxion, anything a house could need. Th that name is Bolson. Yeah, yeah. B -b -b Bolson construction. Nice. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to share that. In fact, that dance is just going to be our uh, little secret. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell anyone about that. Zora's Domain again. There are still a couple more quests, or at least this one, to be had before we're done with the domain once more. And so I thought we might as well knock him out of the way. Oh, if it isn't the Hylian. You have appeased Ruta. I cannot express how grateful I am. However, those of us in Zora's domain are still feeling the ramifications of the chaos that Ruta wrought. That is why my senior apprentice, Frank, and I are repairing the domain. However, our materials are a bit depleted. Materials? Yes, repairs require a large number of luminous stones. You can find plenty of them around Upland Zorana. Have you, by any chance, already stumbled across some luminous stones across your travels? For instance, if you have ten of them, that would be a great help. Do I have that many? Luminous stones, right? Oh, wait, oh, wait, I'm asking him about them. Here are the stones. Do I have that many? Thank you, you're really giving me ten luminous stones? In that case, please excuse me while I count them. Oh, and a one, and a two, and a three... And a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh my, you really brought all ten. Thank you. Yes, I'll happily take these luminous stones from you. That's right, I must reward you. Take this diamond. Because, why not take this diamond? It's better. And what's more, I'll give you one extra as a bonus. Take this other diamond. I just gave you a thousand rupees for about two hundred rupees worth of stuff. Because I am that cool. My name is Leto. You're a lifesaver, truly. If you ever find yourself in possession of ten luminous stones in the future, I hope you bring them to me. If that hap happens, know that I'll only be able to give you one diamond for them. I would be honored if you would accept it when the time comes. Do I have more? That would be great. Do I actually have more? Thank you, you're really giving me ten, and then let me count them. Yeah, damn it. Oh. You see, I specialize in counting things. And I'm sorry, but the luminous stones in your possession number less than ten. When you have collected ten of them, please bring them to me, because I won't accept anything else. Even though I just gave you two diamonds. Well, that was a great quest. Just got a thousand rupees for it. Do you have a quest? No, you do not. I'm just going to do a quick run-through of Zora's Domain. See if there's anything that people can offer us. Maybe talk to uh, Sidon. Link, I must thank you. You somehow overcame the objections of the old geezers on our council. All to save our home. Yes, you are a treasure of a Hylian, taking time out of your journey to come to our rain and monster-ridden home. And here you have activated these orbs with shock arrows, freed Ruta, and released my sister from her lingering regret. Link, I simply cannot thank you enough, especially for following me to the end, pushy and unreasonable as I am. Zora's domain would still be in peril if not for you. You are most welcome any time, and we are ever at your service. Have I mentioned how incredible you are and how thankful I am? Because you are, and I am. Yes, you are the greatest of Hylians and my most treasured friend for all time. 
My name is John Wayne, Pilgrim. This is a voice that I haven't used in a long time. Well, looking around, it looks like there isn't anything else to do. No one else has a quest for me, and thus... There's only one thing I left to do in Zora's Domain. And that would be to find out what is on the top of this weird fin. I've been wondering that ever since we began this. Ever since we first arrived, and... Undoubtedly, there's just a Korok seed on top of it, and I'm doing this all for naught, but... I don't think I've been up here before, and so it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Is there anything over here? Anything at all. Anything would be great. I thought there was a... I found a chest over here. Oh, there... There's a Korok and I already found it. Oh, well. Neat. What? Okay. The qu uh, there's... There's, uh... A cutscene. Well, that's unexpected. Hmm, what's this? A voice beckoned you here. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not sure if I showed you that on screen, but when I went to a shrine, it told me that I needed to go here. I, If I have the footage still, I'll throw it up on screen. I forgot about that. I shall now tell you all I know about the Ardor's Trial that awaits you. This is DLC, by the way. That sword you have re reunited with, the Master Sword, is yet to realize its full splendor. This trial shall test your courage to ensure that you are worthy of this splendor. It is called the Trial of the Sword. It will challenge you as you have never been challenged before. Aww. All of your weapons and armor will be sealed away. You must face your enemies without the tools you've come to rely on. Once you have attempered your soul and proven your wisdom and courage by completing the Trial of the Sword, the Master Sword shall truly be yours. Hmm, unless my eyes deceive me, you seem quite willing to take on this trial. A hero through and through. Now, Link, place this Master Sword in its pedestal. So this is DLC, which I guess I had to get around to eventually. The reason why I'm here, first of all, is to return or give this Ice Rod to a Korok that was really interested in, in Ice Rods. And there's somewhere... Around here, if I can, if you look at the map. Oh, they're outside. Oh, okay. So that's that's why I came here. But I ended up triggering this this cutscene, which is important because I have been wanting to to cover this because the DLC is not something I should wait for the end of the game to cover. It's useful, and in the case of the portable warp point which I got it's really useful and so it would be kind of a shame for me to save such useful and handy upgrades for the end of the adventure so I am going to be covering the DLC very soon in fact maybe within the next couple of episodes but I did want to hear what you guys want to think uh, what you guys think of me covering all of the DLC uh, I'll be covering the stuff that that I am close to like the trial of the sword I do want to get that out of the way really quickly maybe even before we do more additional story things but if there's any DLC that you guys t want to uh, have me postpone until later in the game go ahead and tell me in the comment section well it looks like you located an ice rod but you're going to have to equip it to impress me oh cool the game automatically did it look at this it's a refrigerator on a stick Shimmering, sparkling, what a sight to behold. Thank you, Mr. Hero. Your weapon is so amazingly, wonderfully sparkly. I must give you something as thanks. And he gives us a silver rupee. Clink, sparkle. Neat. We did it. And he cheers whenever we use it. Okay, so moving on with the episode... There isn't much that I can think of that we need to do, except move into the new area, so... As for the next thing that I would like to cover, I think the strange mask rumors. I can look at the map here. Odd. I think that's what I want to cover next. You've read the, the rumor mill X. According to this issue, there is rumors of an item called the Korok Mask that has been inhabited by a friendly spirit. The treasure chest containing the Korok Mask is hidden in the hollow of a terrifying tree in... in a forest that causes those who enter to lose their way. Find that forest and locate the treasure chest. It also seems there's a convenient way to search for it. So, that might be what we're doing next episode. 
but more li most likely I'm going to wait for your guys' instruction on that for the next recording batch, and then I'm going to be doing it based on your instruction, since I'm not even sure if it's this forest that it's referring to. It could be any forest. So I'm going to listen to your input on that. Meanwhile, I think next episode, we're going to get started on the Trial of the Sword. At least attempt it, because it doesn't hurt if I attempt it, right? And I, I really want to get what it has to offer as soon as possible, so I can use it until the end of the LP. All right. That is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday, and Pikmin 2, which is just wrapping up the co-op mode. I still have to record the, the bonus videos, and new episodes of that come out every Tuesday and Thursday. Join me next time where we will begin the Trial of the Sword, and I'll see you guys then. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm spraying these. How does this work with two active captains? I don't know. Uh, get on the other side. Get on the other side. No, get on the other side. When he turns back mi to me. Come on in here. This is my plan and I'm sticking to it. Oh yeah, I'm cornered. Oh no. Oh, that was close. Jump out. No, jump out, Link. Link. Goodness.